Hello YouTube, we're playing with our mini grinder and our, some of our new wheels there. I used to call them emery wheels, they're rubberized abrasive. That's the course. This is a diamond wheel. You buy these at Harbor Freight and you get the arbor. This is what the arbor was. Where it went into the drill, I put a piece of pipe on the sewing machine motor. I had it flattened and I did a couple of little tricks. And then I had a piece of pipe on there, and this is all JB Weld, and it was machined with a file and everything to try to make it. And it will flex a little bit, that stuff's kind of like a plastic JB Weld is. There you go. A little bit of vibration when you get a wheel on it, because no wheel's going to be exactly centered, but... So these are like 10 bucks, but I got to figure out, I've had them for years. You get this one and another one. Uh, the beveled one. I see the battery's low on my camera. You ever notice how you take me start drilling or filming your battery's low? But uh, this little box goes down inside there. I took a picture. You'll see it in one of my videos. I, I can store stuff in here. I don't want to open it right now. But anyway, to the project. We'll be taking this blade out to do the fine work. You can see, I should have felt, you could see just where the serrations were. This is a serrated knife. This got demoted to a work knife. I used to carry it. But see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make it look like a spear point. So, I'm going to go to my uh, course wheel and shape it. We're going to take the knife apart. So, we got the blade in our hand because it's easier to sharpen too. So, we're imitating that. So, uh, we may grind with the stone a little bit of this bevel. I don't want to screw it up. I'd rather make it on my knife sharpener I mean, if it took all day. Because I don't want to take away something that's supposed to be there. But you see, there's no edge no more. So it, it's a lot of work to reprofile a blade. You just can't start grinding on a knife sharpener no matter what stone. You've got to start somewhere with a belt sander or something. So this is not really the machine to do it. But it's wide enough. I can freehand it. So enough yakking. We're going to stop. We'll change the battery before we come back next time. And we'll bring you back when we got this done just a little bit more. But we're probably not going to show you anything with a knife sharpener today. Because we want to play with this today. Not the knife sharpener. So this will be ready. And let's say if you're done doing this stuff. If you're not done, put everything in a baggie. All the screws and everything. And set it aside. It could be two days before you get back to it. So yep. This is Guidesman knife I've had for a long time I use it for open packages and use it for a work knife so stay tuned it's already three minutes long we don't want this to be longer than a five minute video okay we're done for now we took some 220 that's my favorite for a knife that's used because it leaves scratches which I like seeing the, the scratch lines in there when they're e when they're equal because it's a work knife it's going to get dinged up and bent, bent up and everything. So you kind of see the idea of what I'm trying to get. Like a fake spear point. I did take it to the fine wheel. And of course I'm trying to give it a little bit of a the bevel before I start sharpening it. So it's less work on my sharpener. But I have those sandpaper stones and rust stones. So I can really get aggressive. But, uh, that's that little thing to flick open it. It had some white. Loctite in there, so I've got that saved in a screw. It's hit off of my screwdriver kit, so I can't lose that part. Uh, as far as the knife, I just put the screws back in the handle. See, I just put the washers and screws back in so I don't lose it, so I throw it on the bench. Wear your goggles. Sometimes I take my glasses off, I wear bifocals, because I want to be about... Right now, we're approximately from the camera lens, we're about 8 inches away from this, and I'll be right about here so I can see what I'm doing I'll take my glasses off I can see better than through my bifocal so that's enough of that uh, someday you'll see this thing sharpened so here's the factory color which I'm just getting rid of for the fun of it I thought I'd take this time to show you I've been playing around polishing that's the fine wheel the extra fine wheels darker like a green and it's wider like 7 16 or 3 8 wide and the coarse one is about a quarter inch wide that was probably in there when I first started filming but show you the difference in here on this brass if it'll show up where the lines are at was my extra fine 
and that kind of gums up. It's, it, of course, it's on brass, but it's really fine. I mean, it gums up like when you put that rouge stuff in your buffer pads. It's not going to stay like a clean looking stone. I had to take some sandpaper to get it look clean again. And that is just the fine. If you can see any difference, I'll take a picture. So the grooves are extra fine. That's fine. Uh, and air fitting. You can probably see it when it shows up. The natural look. And then this part. Uh, just plain old steel with mill scale with the course. I didn't want to wear my stone down. But this is all done with. That little tip even on. This is an old junky piece of metal that's been laying around. has a mill scale. I didn't want to wear my stone down. It'll really eat it up. Uh, here's a drill bit. One of these was extra fine. And the writing was like fine. but It's a nice shine there. It even took the coating off here. So I wanted to experiment on different stuff. So there you go. You got to see a few things I've been playing with. Oh, this is the course. This is what it'll do to a knuckle if you're that persistent. So that that's how abrasive they are. Can I get it out of the package here real quick? The course. And I have the video on when I first bought these if anybody's interested in the part numbers. It'll say like C, course, line, the last letter. See that? Just thought to show you. That's how destructive it is to a knuckle. Wear goggles. You don't know what's going to fly. This stuff will spit grit because it's coming this way. And you might want to work on the back side to see what you're doing. That's why I'm brave enough to do it when I have goggles on. Because I might be back here doing something. And another thing. This turns this way. Don't let your stuff roll. Don't let it roll with the work. Roll backwards sometimes go the opposite of the way this is turning and you might get a better finish so you can either let it roll with the flow or oppose it whatever you know go the opposite the opposing direction say it's going this way go this way i think you know what i mean i'll just confuse you if i keep trying to explain it thanks for watching